Tables are extremely easy to handle in FrameMaker. In this demo, we're actually going to show how easy it is to handle tables that break across pages. As you can see, this table stops right at the bottom of the page. Pressing Control Enter will actually add rows to the table. And notice that we simply have the table title displaying up above the table, and it's repeating itself automatically down on the second page. What we'd like to do is to actually have it indicate uh, down in this area here that it's continuing. And so we can do this by inserting an indicator. And this is actually done with the variable feature. And we have a built-in variable in all documents called table continuation. As you drop this in and repaint the screen, notice down on the bottom that it actually says continued in parentheses. And I'm going to swiftly turn off borders, so that's just a little bit easier to see. Um, this is customizable, and you can actually change it to say something else. Um, if somebody is doing long complex tables, another thing that they may, may wish to do is to actually add footer rows. This um, table has a header row, and we can tell this a header row because if we click into any portion and drag down, it selects the entire column. Whereas if we were to click into another column and drag down as here, you can actually select a range of cells. So what I'd like to do is to just be anywhere in the table, and I'd like to go ahead and use my command to add rows and columns. In that, I'm going to choose to add one row to the footing, which will automatically go to the bottom of the table. And as you can see, it just repeats the um, column breaks that we have. What I want to do, though, is to be a little bit creative. So I'm going to drag across these cells. And I'm going to use my table straddle command to make that to become one single cell. And what I want to do now is have a similar indicator to the continuation. I'm going to do that once again using the pop-up menu for my insert variable. And this time I'm going to drop in table sheet. Notice as I drop table sheet in that it automatically drops in sheet one of two. And as we click down, you'll see that down on the bottom it will say sheet two of two. Um, so this is just one more way that you can actually handle multi-page tables that run across uh, several pages. This will work for hundreds of pages. And incidentally, um, the wording for sheet one of two can be customized to whatever you wish. You can change the word from sheet to page. Similarly, with continued, um, that can also be customized as well. This just concludes a brief demo of one more power feature for working with tables in FrameMaker 11.